I'm back for another quick sen Sunday lesson upload for you guys. As you know, I'm always thinking about you guys, always on my mind. Let's share some awesome licks, some new techniques for the Sharp fam to get busy, to get some inspiration flowing over there. And that's what we got. Um, is this little lick you see me doing here today. So we're tuned flat, we're in the key of D for no particular reason. It's just a good place to be. And that little sequence there is kind of what I want to put together. I think there's a lot of value. There's a lot of cool sort of techniques going on in the way we're using legato um, to create sort of a passage or an expression that I think um, is very lyrical and it's uh, there's a, it contributes to um, a lot of possibilities beyond just this lick. You know, learning these techniques, ultimately you can go on to employ them in, in all parts of the neck, in any place you like, and, and, and factor it, you know, um, integrate it into your own skill set. And so that's, that's the idea. All right, so we'll begin with a bend. We're in, of course, the second box, a pentatonic minor scale in the key of D. And of course, we're going to be adding our flat fifth, or that blue note, which is... Right? So we're beginning uh, with our middle finger on the root note here, which is going to be a D, which is the D string 12th fret, which is a D note. And then we're beginning, we're going to use three fingers, our index, middle, and ring finger, and we're going to climb up uh, 10, 12, 13. And right away, our index is going to drop to the B string, tw 12th fret. And then we'll descend back down, but we'll incorporate a cool legato kind of feature. So that's what we got. And that's the legato. One, two, three, four. So I played the first note which is the ring on the 13th of the G string. And then I'm gonna pick the second note as well. But when I pick the second note, which is the middle finger on the 12th fret of the G, that's gonna, that's gonna uh, create, that's gonna open up a legato, a four note legato run. See, that's four notes. You're playing this note, one, two, three, four, and then we pick the last note, which is where we move. to get good at that little and to, uh, it's a cool resolve is to stagger the middle and the ring finger on the 12th fret of the D and the G and, and then alternating to the index on the 10th of the G and the ring finger on the 12th of the G but always going back to that root note, your D, which is the 12th fret of the D string. And you can see I'm just kind of playing around with it, trying to extract value or to you know, express different things. So if we begin the lick with bending the B string on the 13th, Playing that same legato run, that four note run from the 12th fret on the B string, and then we can drop the ring finger on the 13th fret of both the G and the B string, uh, barring across both. And then see, you know you can land right on that note, but then you bar across. So G, B, G, going back and forth on, on that 13th fret. And then from there, we're going to do a big ha uh, hammer-on pull-off from the 10th to the 13th of the B and back to the 10th. And then land back on the 13th of the G. And that's how far along we are. And then using that opening lick to resolve it, to end it. Let me 
slow that right down. feeling that you guys will be digging on that very slashy very bluesy there's a lot of great value to that so go ahead guys spend some time with it learn it you know uh, process it integrate it into your whole style into your guitar vocabularies and what can I say enjoy um, just a quick shout out and a greeting to uh, all the new subscribers on the channel always great to see new people getting on board with it and just to remind you guys that everyone out there in the internet world is invited and encouraged to reach out to me personally for private lessons or private tutorials, sessions, working together if uh, you guys think that might benefit you or um, something you're curious about uh, trying out, I guarantee I've, you guys are going to benefit and love it. I've never had someone disappointed, you know, the, the, the Sharps family is just keeps growing and um, it's wonderful to have more and more of you on board doing private tutorials with me and and watching the amazing results that you guys get it's um it's an excellent experience and i really encourage you guys to reach out you know you can find me on the instagram at gsharp media that's a great place to sort of contact me and begin to kind of explore and discuss what the uh you know the options are regarding lessons um so yeah that's about it guys enjoy your sundays enjoy these beautiful guitars and the music that we can make with them and uh, keep practicing guys all right g-sharp media epic together happy sunday and we'll see you again soon